you all must be curious about what is this insert only approach so i have been talking in couple of slides earlier so now it's time to open the curtain so when an existing row is updated um, sap does not make any change in the existing row so it is invalidated by default because every row has a timestamp so so if if there is a change so in this example say an order had was initially uh, ordered with 21 as the quantity but later the customer thought that oh no i don't need 21 i need just 15 so they updated 15 so in the database so they will no not go and update the original uh, entry they will insert a new entry so a new entry will be inserted with 15 but they will also have a new timestamp so if you check this so this was uh, generated on say 2018-0507 it was on the 7th of may and this was uh, inserted on the 8th of may so if if a read statement is requested so hana database will intelligently pick which one of this two should be sent so it will look for the latest timestamp which is this so the quantity 15 will be sent to the uh, to the requester so and what is the advantage of this insert only so it does not require re require reordering and resorting what does that mean say say if we update this entry instead of inserting this entry so it will be 15 here so what will happen now all the indexes which was holding this entry will have to be updated in the column store this 21 the address has to be changed so that is a burden for the system so so with insert only you are not looking uh, into what was there earlier you are just adding a new entry with a new timestamp and if you have to read it and both are same say both the primary key is same for both but still sap would hana would send you 15 as the result not 21 because it will look for the latest timestamp and that that makes the read very fast right so it is very fast so it is good for oltp and it is also good for OLAP.